you know what? You need a little flavor in your life, all right? Because a lot of these people are so underappreciated, and I'm like, what is going on? Put some flavor in your life, okay? Please. Woo! Love that for me. It's fine. Hello, hello, booktubing world. It's I, Capri Nicole, and I'm back with another video. But today I'm going to be talking about 15 of my all time favorite creators at the moment or creators that I've been watching a lot of lately. But it's not going to only be booktubers. I'm going to be talking about people on podcasts, business owners, artists, photographers, booktubers, YouTubers, just pretty much. That's all of the types of people I'm going to be talking about in this video. All of them are black women, and I will be sure to link all of their information below. I'll link their websites, I'll link their Instagrams, I'll link their Twitters. I'm a linkity link, link, link. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. My name is Capri Nicole. Here I talk about bookish stuff and occasionally BTS. But if you don't want to hear me talk about BTS too much, it's okay. That's very rare, but it's not rare. On my K-pop channel, which I will link up above, I just recently made it follow if you want to make sure you subscribe like comment do all that stuff and if you don't know what to say at the end of my video say what what do I always say leave me the little pink heart in the comment section below or the black heart so let's get into this video okay so the first booktuber that I'm going to talk about is Seiji she's from the artist artistian geek I think it's called but I love her channel I've been watching her channel for a really long time I found her through Sydney and the thing that I like most about her channel is probably like her discussion videos because all of her videos are so quick and you know when you adulting that time crunch is real okay like you don't really have that much time to watch 30 minute video on normal speed you really just don't all right but she has like the best um efficient discussion videos i love the way she gets her point across and she not only talks a good game she runs a good game when something bothers her or something is a problem in the book community she makes an effort to to fix it to find a solution something that really comes to mind when it comes to her is when the whole michelle obama thing happened where booktubers were interviewing her and it wasn't that many uh <clears throat> people of color that were from booktube or the book community up on there but that was like a whole issue, as it should have been. A lot of people were really upset about it. She made a discussion video about it. And then she also made a wiki page that lists a ton of people of color as that are in the book community. Their Instagrams, their YouTubes. People can just go on there and add people. And it's all listed through A to Z. And she talked about how important diversity is in the book community because it is. And I just love the action she put behind her words. I admire her content. I love the mix of books that she does on her channel. She has like manga. She has a lot of diverse books. She has black books. She has books that I haven't heard of before. She has a ton of stuff. She does skits. She does hauls. She does wrap ups. She does one book reviews. Like she literally does everything. And if you are not subscribed to her, you are missing out on that knowledge. And that just, you need to go subscribe to her ASAP. Okay, so the next creator I'm going to talk about is an author. And she also runs a podcast called Hey Girl. And that's originally where I found her from, was her podcast called Hey Girl. And her name is Alex L. She is phenomenal. Like, she she just grounds me. She really has one of those voices that when you listen to it, it just puts you at ease. Like, you know how when you talk to your mother, you just feel so at peace? Like, you just need to talk to mom. I think a few people in the book community have picked up her books because I've seen her name float around before. But I may, mainly know her from her podcast. And all her Hi, I'm Alex L. And I write books for a living. The Hey Girl podcast was created with sisterhood and storytelling in mind. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. Hey girl. Um, other women that come on there and talk about their careers, motherhood, losing someone, feeling lost, getting sick, like cancerous sick, all types of things. And I just, I love like the rawness and how open her podcast is. It, it's kind of like the Red Table Talk, but like a little more calm. Like the Red Table Talk... Is, is very open like I like the way that Jada talks about things and leaves an open space and her podcast is really similar to that it's a really open space for people to discuss things that's happened in their lives or things that are going on or their goals or whatever and I just oh, I love it so much I just admire her aesthetic on Instagram too and she's just she's just fabulous so if you want a new podcast to listen to make sure you check out hey girl 
Okay, so the next creator I'm going to talk about is Danny. She's from Panda Post, and I love her channel so much. Like, she reminds me so much of, like, a cartoon character because she's just so full of life. She's, like, one of those Naya Reads and Smiles type vibes. But Hi, guys. My name is Danny. Welcome back to my channel, and you're watching The Panda Post. But she only talks about manga on her channel because she I don't think she reads like regular books because she says she does not have the intention plan for it and honestly girl same okay you are not alone in that I love her channel because like her videos are really short her aesthetic on Instagram is so cute uh, I can't say this enough I love her channel I go to her channel whenever I like need a, a, a boost like I used to go to Nia's channel a lot when I need like a boost but currently she is in grad school and she recently privated a, a good amount of her videos because she's trying to refocus her life on that because that's one of her big goals. She says she's gonna come back. She's gonna definitely come back to the book community. This just recently happened, I think like two, a couple days ago. Definitely subscribe to her channel. She's adorable. Her content is so cute. And if you're looking for like a ton of new manga to pick up, she is the girl to go to. And please give her love and support. Being a college student is so hard and there's so many people in the book community that are currently going to college and she is one of them. So send her all of your love because College is hard, grad school is even harder, so I wish you the best, Danny. Okay, so the next creator I'm going to talk about is a cosplayer, and if you don't know, your girl loves cosplay. I've done a few, <clears throat> little, took a little dab in it myself, if I do say so, and you would know that if you follow your girl on Instagram, you should follow me on Instagram. Thank you. I'm going to talk about a cosplayer. Her name is Shell, and she goes by Curly Cosplay. And she is such an inspiration. Like, I just love her cosplays. Like, it doesn't matter what character she cosplays. She comes with the creativity and the curly hair, like, ASAP. I just love seeing people, people's different spins on characters that they love. Like, whether it's through anime or books or actresses or superheroes like anything that they create it's just like so well done and I just love her content and I follow her on Twitter I follow her on Instagram she's also a voice actress I believe I, I listen to like a few of her voice actresses and I really hope that she gets the opportunity to be a voice actress I'm not sure if she does like audiobooks I feel like she would be good for like a cartoon character because she has that little voice she sounds like a mix of like bubbles buttercup from Powerpuff Girls like her character voice sounds a lot like that to me and I wish her the best of luck. She's really creative. She's beautiful. She's doing an amazing job and she's one of the first people that pop up when you Google like black cosplayers. Like she's doing great <laughs> and I just really admire her and she's inspirational to me and my little cosplays we just now starting so yeah check her out if you want to okay so the next person I'm going to talk about is a booktuber and her name is Rachel Ray now she's pretty big and I've been watching her channel for a really long time she just has like the perfect background okay like I be struggling trying to get this little do hickey to, to get right every time I film but every single one of her videos it just looks so peaceful it just, it just feels like you're like sitting down in like a room an interior designed room because it just looks so beautiful she just has everything perfectly done I'm just like can I get like you like can I get like you but her hair is always flawless she's gorgeous she's her videos are always pretty short which I also enjoy she does hauls she does book reviews she does discussion videos and recently she did a video where she had strangers pick her TVR which is just like girl girl you are courageous like I could never like I could never I could never but she actually had a really good experience because all the people were super nice and I think the first person that she spoke to she ended up really enjoying the book and I think it ended up being one of her favorite books so far of the year uh, she's really creative she's always trying different things with her channel and she's actually growing a lot so definitely check her out if you haven't already I'm pretty sure most of you are subscribed to her but I just want to send her all my love because I just love her content, I love her channel, and you're doing amazing, okay? Oh my god, I'm so excited to talk about her. So the next person that I'm going to talk about is a photographer, and her name is Kimberly. I cannot put into words how creative this woman is. Like, I've never seen anything like this. She's a phenomenal photographer like she literally does all of her shoots in her apartment like in her apartment like she takes the hours to come up with ideas and inspirations and then just like com completely changes her apartment room or her bedroom to be the way that she wants it 
it's insane like I've never seen anything like this and the creativity and the hard work she puts behind it is unreal a lot of the stuff she does she does it by herself like she will literally tape a camera to the ceiling so that she can get her shot the first picture that I saw of her was when she was doing a sponsored picture for a a mattress company and like the idea she came up with was so beautiful I, I'll put a picture right here so you can see what I'm talking about but I was just like blown away and like all of her current pictures are still like amazing like it's just she is so good and the thing that I really love about her Instagram and about her posts on Twitter as well is the fact that she shows the start of what her room looks like her talent is unmatched you have got to check out her content like it's just beautiful okay so the next person I'm going to talk about is another booktuber and her name is Kimberly A now I love her channel <laughs> she's also another college student I think she just graduated so she's really trying to figure out what's next like that's the biggest plunge when you go to college is like what am I gonna do now like obviously you went to school for a specific thing so you want to focus on that but like it's 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 terrifying so I wish her the best of luck send her all the love she's also really really close to 2k so make sure you subscribe and give her love and likes and all that stuff I love her get ready with me chats when she talks about like book reviews and just like what's going on in her life and stuff like that because like I like to pretend that I know what's going on with makeup because I really just don't so I just like get so inspired by people that know what they're doing with like makeup and brushes and all the colors they put in huh, just a girl can dream okay and when she's not in a reading slump <laughs> which is often um, no shade girl no shade but she be in reading slumps like a lot like every time I'm on her channel she's like trying to get out of reading slump tips to get out of reading slump she does a lot of hauls she does reviews she does TBRs she does everything anything that you could think of she does it all like like she does it all but she just has a really good vibe she's another person that has like such a great background and just like an aesthetically pleasing background I'd be struggling over here but it's cool you know it's it's fine it, it's, it's all good so definitely go check out her channel her name is Kimberly A so the next person that I'm gonna talk about is a business owner and her name is Angel and she owns the spice suite now I've never heard of a store that has spices like I didn't know that was a thing so I really just thought that she was so cool for doing that but apparently like that's a, that's a thing I didn't know that but I just thought that was phenomenal but like the spices and the stuff that she does is so cool because if you don't know your girl loves to cook okay I love cooking I love trying different flavors and different mixes and stuff like that and just like seeing recipes that she comes up with and the different flavors that she tries it's just like amazing She's based out of DC and she has her own shop there I think she used to be like a teacher or something like that and then one day she just like walked past the shop and it was empty and she was just like you know what I think I'm gonna create my own business and she decided to come up with a spice shop and she just like left her job she put her all into this and it's really 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 successful like people be breaking them damn doors down to get into her shop because she just has these amazing flavors she does boxes as well so if you want to get like a huge box of spices you can do that it's a little pricey not gonna lie it's a little pricey but you gotta support black businesses okay just just support she's just so cool because I just love to see how she dresses too because she just mixes like colors and patterns that I've never seen before she's just so full of life and she's so like true to herself if you're really into cooking and you want to try different flavors or different spices or rices or oils or anything like that she has all of that in her shop so if you are in DC you definitely should check her out I'll link all her information below but she's just is, she's just so cool she's just so cool so yeah definitely check her out. first thing I'm gonna talk about is another booktuber her name is Renee Amanda she runs book girl magic and I just love her content she's a sports mom she runs a book club she has like a year-long reading challenge I think going on right now called like reading diversely or diverse reading challenge of all 2020 she's really putting forth an effort to read more diverse books she does a lot of live shows she's really pretty big on Instagram I think she's more active on Instagram as well but she's been pumping out a lot more content on her channel lately trying new things she does a lot of book reviews she does book hauls she does pretty much everything I just love hearing her talk <laughs> she's beautiful she has amazing content she really likes romance books so if you like romance go over there give her some recommendations give her some love give her a little subscribe a little like definitely check out her channel I will link it below with everything else okay so the next person I'm gonna talk about is a youtuber and her name is Kenny JD now Kenny JD is 
<laughs> she's a youtuber that i found when i started learning korean because if you don't know your girl is learning korean and i really wanted to find creators that were like like me like black girls learning korean oh. <laughs> get ready with me 같이 준비해요 비디오를 가지고 왔습니다 솔직히 말하면 이렇게 카메라 앞에서 한국말을 말하는 건 진짜 싫거든요 just to like have the motivation or inspiration to like see where they started and, and where they are now and she's one of my favorite creators recently because like she's just so hilarious like her story times and <laughs> just like everything about her like she could just be doing a get ready with get ready with me and you will be dying of laughter like she's hilarious she's an amazing singer she's extremely intelligent she went to school for uh korean politics she's fluent in korean she's an artist she's amazing at makeup she's doing this series called bad movies and a beat where she talks about terrible movies like movies that i've never heard of before the velocipaster <laughs> i said this sounds like something i need right now after losing his parents a priest travels to china where he inherits a mysterious ability that allows him to turn into a dinosaur talks about terrible movies while she does her makeup and her makeup always comes out on point like even though she's talking shit the whole time like her makeup always comes out on point she's hilarious so if you want to laugh or if you just want to have somebody just to brighten up your day definitely go to her channel because she will leave you in stitches she's hilarious okay just hilarious so the next creator that i'm going to talk about is another booktuber and her name is Janaea. and i'm sure a few of you have heard about her before because I, i've i've definitely heard this channel name before before i started watching her content but i really like her channel because i myself am an organizer i like everything to be scheduled written down planned whatever and on her channel she from the jump she had everything like planned out of like weekly how she's going to do her videos and so on monday she does melanin matter where she talks about obviously books with people of color and then on wednesday she does the wisdom wave where she talks about books that are like inspirational and motivate you towards like life and stuff like that or things that are really make you think and then on friday she does feminine fridays which is like books that are mainly focused on women mcs and i just love the way that she separates all of her videos so you know like okay monday this is what i'm getting wednesday this is what i'm getting friday this is what i'm getting and she just is so adorable she just started twisting her hair and just i love her content i just love hearing her talk about different books because a lot of the books i haven't heard of even though she does read some hyped books she also reads a lot of books that i haven't heard of so it definitely helps me out with my tbr being very diverse fluid and in, in different content because i feel like i had a lot of really hyped books that i was reading and it just wasn't a good time <laughs> so i started looking for booktubers that talk more diversely about different types of books or books that really pique their interest that i've never heard of or a genre that i've never particularly been interested in because i haven't really read much about it and i get a lot from her channel i learn a lot from her channel and i just really enjoy her channel so definitely check her out okay so the next creator that i'm gonna talk about is another cosplayer and she is one of my favorite cosplayers like of all time like of all time her name is mimi aka mimi the nerd on instagram and on twitter and if you don't know about this girl i don't know what rock you've been sleeping under her all of her cosplays go viral because she is so she is so talented let me I'll, I'll put up a picture of my favorite cosplay that she did so you can check it out right there there it is um but just like all of her cosplays are amazing and she had a really hard time when she first started doing her cosplays because in the cosplay community a lot of people are really racist or, or have a huge opinion on what you should cosplay what you shouldn't cosplay especially when you're black and she had a lot she had to deal with that a lot it made her really anxious but now she's just like i don't care i'm gonna do whatever i want if you don't like it this is for you this is for you and this is for you like she doesn't care <laughs> and i just really like that she's um stepping more into her creativity and being more comfortable with like the cosplay she creates and she's always barking back at people that have something to say about the cosplays that she does because she's black especially because she's of a darker skin complexion and i feel like in the cosplay community just being black and being a cosplayer is already hard and then on top of that being a, a darker skin cosplayer is even more difficult you constantly have to fight people being a cosplayer is all about creativity so for people to constantly tell you what you should do how you should do it is ridiculous and i hate it but 
I love seeing the things that she talks about. Just like people having equal opportunities in the community and she just not with the shits, okay? Like she's just all about her content, <laughs> being comfortable in her space and doing things that she wants to do. And her work has really reflected that lately. And I've really been enjoying just the picture that she posts because she's so beautiful. Her room is so aesthetically pleasing. Her tattoos are so dope and she's getting a lot more, which if you haven't noticed, I am a fan of the tattoos, okay? So I just, I'm just like, in the corner like you go girl you go girl and I think she followed me on Twitter and I like cried for like a day so that was that was a moment that was a moment but she's just like such a talented creator and I'm pretty sure you've seen her pictures and if you haven't definitely check them out I will link uh, her stuff in the description box below okay, so the next person that I'm gonna talk about is Tiffany the budgetista now I love Tiffany so much and the first time i heard about her was on her podcast called brown ambition and she's on there with one of her really close friends named mandy and they talk about everything but mainly they focus on money finances careers business women in business the things that they struggle with in life their failures their successes everything credit cards debit cards everything i love hearing them talk about financial stuff and that's specifically what they focus on and she's just been through a lot in her life lost her job during the recession she lost her house during the recession and she really had to rebuild and figure out what worked for her to start her life over initially like because 2009 2010 was a rough time for a lot of people and she was one of those people that got heavily impacted but she took that lemon and turned it into a lemonade and she is just like a phenomenal person like she has books she has books for children as well because I feel like like when I have kids, I really want them to know about financial wealth early on so they don't get like thrown into like the lion's den when they become adults. It's coming out with so many new like financial advice books for like kids that are like six or five or ten or whatever. Putting those little peaks of knowledge early on for your kids is so important. I'm currently paying off my debts. I want to be debt free by the end of this year. If you don't know about her, definitely check her out on Instagram or check out Brown Ambition, which is a really good podcast. It's really open and it feels like just like a girl's talk, but it's really knowledgeable and you take away so much. I learned so much listening to that podcast. And I just, they're both really huge inspirations, but mainly Tiffany. Like Tiffany, the budgetista, she's... She's amazing, so definitely check. The next creator that I'm going to talk about is Geneva, and she is an artist that I have just, uh, I love her art so much. Like, I love getting prints. If you, if you can't see, I love prints. Like, I love prints. They're everywhere in my room, and I just love seeing people just spin on a world, and a lot of her stickers and her prints and her t-shirts and stuff like that are, like, in a realistic setting but with like different stuff in it like she'll have like a girl reading a book with like dragons around her or like somebody with a backpack with like flowers in the backpack everything that she does with her art is so beautiful it's so colorful like I really love art that has like a lot of color and has a lot of like real life but changed into like magic like you're in a phone booth but it looks magical around you her creativity is just like top notch she's amazing love how much she's grown as an artist as well because I've been following her for a while and I feel like she's just growing so much and she has her store so you definitely should check that out I will definitely link that below and she also just started a comic book series I think or like a webtoon as well Geneva I wish you the best of luck you're an amazing artist you're an amazing creator and you're doing phenomenal so definitely check out her content okay so we coming to an end i have one more creator to talk about and i am done with this video so the next person that i'm going to talk about is kalia wright she owns the business mess in a bottle and it's just like a t-shirt company it has really expressive quotes and i just love it so much and she puts all of her t-shirts and all of her stuff in a reusable bottle girl we're talking about sustainability like let's get into it you can take your t-shirt out you can use it as a water bottle you can reuse it it's just like oh, i love it so much i love the creativity in that she also has like bombers and hoodies i just love it i love her so much i've listened to a lot of her interviews she's based in baltimore i think and she's just a phenomenal creator, so I'll be sure to link her Instagram below, the website below as well. It's going to be a whole lot of links in the description, so make sure you check all of these creators out. Again, I will link it in the description box below, okay? So check it out. Thank you. Shit, that is it for this video. My voice is, is just it's gone like so those are the 15 creators that I want to talk about today I hope that you are having a phenomenal 
Black History Month. I hope you are diversely reading all year long, not just this, not just this month, not, not, not just this month. That is all I have for you today. I have a couple more videos coming out this week. We come into an end of February, and February has been very hectic for me, content creator-wise, BTS-wise. I'm losing my mind, but it's okay. It's going to be over soon. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you found some new people to follow, some new content to consume, and I hope you're having a great day. Thank you so much for watching. Always remember, read a book, keep your life interesting, and I will see you next time.